Now I'm going to bring up something that's uh, not very <laughs> tasteful, pardon the pun, but explain to the audience why horses are sent to Japan. Well, they're, first of all, they're sent to Japan because of the money, because right. the Japanese breeders and owners um, have a lot of money and they're trying to improve their stock. I mean, Sunday mm -hmm. Silence, the horse who won the Derby for Charlie Whittingham and for Arthur Hancock, mm -hmm. uh, he ended up going to Japan and he was a, a rock star over there. Right. And he, he single-handedly uh, rebuilt the Japanese breeding industry. And, mm -hmm. and you know, they, War Emblem is a good example. They sent War Emblem over there. They paid $17.7 .7 million wow. for him. Amazing. And it didn't work out as well as everybody mm -hmm. would have liked, but it's, 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 it's very kind of them to be able to contact us when his breeding crew is over and say, look, mm -hmm. you know, he can come home if you want him. And then we just raise the money to bring him home and they donate everything else. Mm -hmm. And the other aspect I was trying to allude to was that the, the ban on horse meat and human consumption. I wanted to get your thoughts on that because the yes. average audience member may not understand that that is... Right. Well, a real issue. if we go back to Suffolk Downs, where right. these horses were going, where mm -hmm. they were going to slaughter so that they, they could be sent overseas because in some cultures it's, it's okay to eat horses. And mm -hmm. fortunately in the United States, that's, that's right. not the case. Mm -hmm. One of the problems is um, now, since all the slaughterhouses in the United States are banned, mm -hmm. the problem is that now horses go on the, the, the trucks and instead of going close by, they have to go to Canada or Mexico. Now, Andy Barr, Representative Andy Barr, is, is sponsoring a, a bill that's really going to be great mm -hmm. uh, for these horses, which bans the transportation. Uh, it eliminates the USDA inspectors. So if you don't have a USDA meat inspector, you can't let any meat out of the country. So it's a okay. really very wow. smart way to go about it. And mm -hmm. I really appreciate Representative Barr's uh, efforts in this area. And I think it's going to it's going to accomplish a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think it focuses, and when people come to old friends, I tell them, I said, look, you know, this is the way Kentucky treats their horses. It's not right. just when they're making money. It's not just when they're on the news. It's not just when they're these great athletes performing these great feats. Mm -hmm. It's when they're, when they're done, too, the people here really care about them and want to make sure that in their final days, you know, things mm -hmm. are working out a little bit better. Mm -hmm.